Hi there, it's Ian from CAD Space. In this video I'm going to show you how to model this unusual wood screw which has a helical thread form but that thread runs out into the core of the screw at each end. So I'm starting in a new part document with some sketches one which I'll use to create the, the core of the screw one which will define the outer profile of the thread and one which creates the thread um, cross-section profile. So the first thing to do is to create some revolved features. Firstly I'm going to revolve the, the core profile. Uh, secondly I'm going to revolve the outer thread profile as a surface. And now I need to create the helical path, and this begins with uh, with a uh, with a true helix, which is going to be positioned at the base of the thread profile. So first of all, we need a plane, and that I'll just create that one parallel to the top plane, but passing through the start point of the thread. On that plane, we can create the circular start point for a helix and then jump straight into the helix command. So as long as the helix is longer than the thread that we need, that's all that, uh, that's all that's important. The pitch is two and a half millimeters, which is correct. So that um, that sketch is finished. Secondly, I'm going to create another sketch on the same plane, just a straightforward uh, line from uh, from here to here. The outside point of that line needs to pierce the helix. From that combination, I can create a swept surface based on that new line sweeping it along the helical path. Some options here. Path alignment. If we give it a direction vector it, uh, it often gives us a smoother result. And we exit from that uh, command. We now have a spiral curve. A spiral uh, surface I should say. I'm just going to um, quickly modify the um, the sketch to make sure that the uh, the inside edge of that uh, surface is close to the origin of the screw. That looks better. So the next thing to do is to create uh, a new spiral, which is going to be an intersection curve between this new surface and the three surfaces of our outer profile. So by hiding those surfaces we can now see that what I have is a new spiral curve which, as you can see, meets the, the core diameter at this end and at the opposite end. Now it's a matter of sweeping our thread profile or section along this new curve. So we'll use the swept boss command. The profile is our thread profile sketch and the path is our new intersection curve. Again looking at the zebra uh, effects we can see that this surface isn't, uh, isn't the greatest so looking at our options we can uh, give it a, a direction vector which as I said often helps with these kind of services to just pull that 
pull that surface straight. There's a preview of our new surface. It's been merged with the original core of the screw. Green tick for OK. And here is our new swept profile, which as you can see blends in at this point here and blends in at the, say, at the point at the other end.